Now at 530, authorities in Delaware County have revealed new details about what they allegedly recovered in the home of a jailed foreign exchange student. The teenager who was arrested last week is accused of threatening to shoot up his school. Our Joe Holden explains what disturbing items police uncovered, including one weapon built from parts allegedly purchased over the Internet. Upper Darby police were blunt. And the thing that's bothersome to me is the amount of ammunition that he's able to purchase online and he's not even a United States citizen. Days after revealing a foreign exchange student at Monsignor Bonner, Archbishop Prendergast had an alleged plot to shoot up the Drexel Hill Catholic High School. Police on Monday had more show and tell to do. We certainly feel that he was going to shoot down the school. And so son was busted last week on terroristic threats charges. Investigators say he amassed an arsenal and planned to unleash carnage on the school May 1st. Court records show son told a classmate who in turn blew the lid off the plan once he alerted a school employee. We're in the process of trying to develop. Uh, is there something more to it than what we have? Are there other people involved than, than him? Police showed us ammunition for an AR-15, an AK-47, and an untraceable 9mm handgun they say son, an 18-year-old from Taiwan, had built. The weapons and ammunition were stashed in this duffel bag. Police claim son's host parent, a Lansdowne attorney, removed the bag from his bedroom and hid it after learning about the investigation. The woman whose identity we're withholding wasn't home when we came knocking. A woman at her law firm took a message for us. The Archdiocese confirms the CBS 3 son has since been expelled. Counselors will be available to students on Tuesday. Now, attorneys for Sun did release a statement. They tell me in part their investigation reveals no intention to commit any criminal act or to terrorize and that his family is concerned about the rising level of rhetoric. He remains in jail tonight. In Delaware County, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.